The second annual America East Health and Safety Summit was hosted by Stony Brook University in early June of 2017. Guest speakers presented a variety of topics to an audience of primarily athletic trainers from the conference's nine institutions. Topics included student-athlete mental health, drug testing, LGBTQ inclusion, ankle sprain diagnostics, nutrition, strength and conditioning, chiropractics and acupuncture as they relate to injury management, and the role of the new athletics health care administrator. I think the summit allows us all to get together as a conference and understand and hear what the national issues are and are we having the same kind and what can we do to help each other with those. Um, we don't all need to reinvent new policies and procedures and there might be someone out there that already has a great policy and I think this summit allows us to share um, and not feel like we're on our own little island, you know, that we can all work together and when you increase the numbers you can get things done and so I think that's important. The summit took place immediately following Mental Health Awareness Month in May, which made Tim Neal a relevant opening presenter. The, the big concern in college athletics in terms of mental health is that one in every four adolescents and adults in this country can meet the criteria for a mental health disorder. And being an athlete doesn't create any immunity from that. You add in the stressors of being an athlete and that could exacerbate a present mental health disorder or in some cases create a mental health disorder. A topic that was revisited this year was nutrition. Jen Ketterly took the group through an interactive presentation that provoked great discussion amongst the athletic trainers and team physicians. The, the field of nutrition has grown tremendously in the last several years and at the same time we have we can't forget to go back to the basics. And so learning about carbohydrates and learning about protein and how much of that you need and, and even what foods give you, give you those nutrients really never goes out of style. So I think reinforcing the basics, teaching and educating on those basics is always gonna be important. Um, and then as we follow the science and, and go where it leads us, we, we get into some of the higher level concepts on performance enhancement and and working to, to help support some of these rehab goals like we talked about today. New this year at the summit were more formalized breakout discussions, allowing time for attendees to ask one another questions and share best practices. I think really the most important thing for me is, is the value to the staff. And I think that that value is just being able to share experiences, uh, being able to share educational opportunities, and really getting to better know the other athletic trainers within the conference. Um, I think anytime we can do that, it can help us in our in-game care of student athletes. And it just helps generally to, for all of us to be able to share ideas, learn about what the other schools are doing, um, and really take some of those ideas back with us and try and grow some initiatives that maybe we already have in place, but also to, to help them and just help each other. I think that's the biggest positive about this. Two members of the America East Student Athlete Advisory Committee were in attendance to provide the student athlete voice in the room, sharing their perspective on various health and safety matters. That it's important to get the student athlete voice, and I think it is hard sometimes, but I think that they're, they do everything they possibly can for us, but a big thing is that you know they want to do the best that they can for student athletes, but in order to do that, they would have to actually get information from student athletes and talk to them and find out what we need. Um, I think that Jill and I, speaking for ourselves, definitely have been more involved in conversations, which has been great. But just that listening is, you know, more important than talking. Um, and it's, it's great that they want to do everything they can to help us, but they have to know what we feel like we want in order, you know, to help us out in the best way that they can. I think a big thing that we're, we've been talking about at Maine is um, like prevention prior to crisis. So avoid crisis through prevention. And um, Tim, Tim yesterday said. Like if you can hear the whispers, you might not have to hear the screams, and I, that really struck me. That like, yeah, we we know what we need to do, and we know what needs to change. So I think it's important to get that done as soon as we can to prevent more issues down the road. At the conclusion of the two-day summit, there was a great deal of excitement about sharing knowledge to implement policies and procedures on campus that will benefit the health and well-being of student athletes. Just us all getting together in a non-work environment 
and, and get to talk to people. And you know, I always see I work women's basketball, so I just see the women's basketball athletic trainers. It's good to talk with some of the other head athletic trainers and see what they're doing, uh, brainstorm or pick ideas off of them, what they're doing with staff, different things. And you wouldn't get to do that any other way. So.